Alright, so a long ass time ago, I modded this Xbox that I have up here. And, uh, I haven't really done much to it. I copied one game to the hard drive, which it's still the standard hard drive, so you can pretty much only copy one game. And that's cool. You know, I used it to test out some LAN gaming in my room, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so... I never bothered to install any emulators or other software because you had to FTP it. Which sounds way more intimidating than it is, so I actually went out of my way and learned how to FTP crap, and I happened to have a crossover cable, so it was very easy to do. So, I've installed um, Xbox Media Center. And I installed it as an app instead of making it the default um, dashboard just because I like to have options you know if I don't like this I can just go back to the uh, Unleashed X and over at MondoCoolCast.com I've put up a tutorial for how to soft mod with links to where to get the files links to where to buy the uh, action replay and uh, links to Xbox Media Center because I had to do a lot of googling to find Xbox Media Center because the original developers no longer support it, so it's not on their website. Yeah, it's been a while since my Xbox has been turned on. I need to change the time and date. Um, I bought another Xbox today, so right now I've got two soft modded Xboxes, and I'm bidding on a hard drive uh, to upgrade this. I'm bidding on an 80 gig hard drive. For my purposes, I just want to be able to copy like maybe four or five games, and that'll give me more than enough. Um, memory to do that with an 80 gig hard drive you can copy about you know seven eight games uh, maybe even nine or ten almost you know depending on how much is eaten up by uh, other programs and shit but this is Xbox Media Center I've been playing with it and uh, as I mentioned I've I've uh, I'm currently the owner of three Xboxes I have my vanilla Xbox with you know all my game saves on it the one that I use to play games with and then I've got this one over here on my secondary TV that I modded just to dick around with, you know? And I was going to buy two today, but one of them has a faulty DVD drive. And it read a few games, but it wouldn't read Splinter Cell, which is the game that you need to crack this bad boy. Because once I get access to the hard drive, I can just do everything with FTP. And I don't need to copy games from the hard drive. I can just, or from the DVD drive, I can just copy it to the hard drive. So, whatever. So I took that back and got my money. So now I've got two Xboxes. What I'm wanting to do is, for Mondo Cool TV, I want to set up uh, LAN tournaments. So, you know, Halo, Halo 2, um, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Doom 3, any Xbox games that have uh, LAN features, I want to uh, find a place, sit down, and uh, do some LAN tournament shit. So I'm going to start looking for some other cheap TVs, and I've got some more network stuff coming, because my uh, Ethernet hub that I do have set up for my home LAN shit, I use it. You know, I've also got, uh, that's also splitting an internet signal from my router, and you know, that's how my Xbox, PS3, and Wii get their uh, Ethernet cables. So I bought another Ethernet hub. For ten bucks, another one like the one I've already got, which I've been very happy with. For ten bucks, it's a very nice five-port hub. Um, I mean, come on, ten bucks—you can't bitch about that. And I've also ordered another crossover cable because you do need one crossover cable to set up the network. Anyway, uh, since I have an Ethernet cable from that secondary Xbox going over to my Ethernet hub where it connects to my home network I can access all kinds of crap like I've only got one folder on my uh, desktop that's enabled for sharing so I'll go through and enable more later but yeah desktop clutter control that's basically all the shit that I saved to my desktop I just toss in this folder when it starts getting in my way to clean out my desktop so these are just some uh, pictures that are in that folder you know this is from the police knots thing um because there's, there's just so much random junk in that folder but that's very cool uh someday when i get a couple terabyte hard drives 
I can start throwing uh, DVD ISOs and shit like that, and uh, you know, just throw them somewhere on the network on a computer and let that run all the time so I can just access this. I might get a couple more Xboxes for around the house, you know, throw one out in the living room and, uh, you know, have access to my DVD collection everywhere without having to fuck with discs like a caveman. But I thought this was very cool. Eventually, I may put some emulators on here. Uh, expect an update video when I, if or when I do get that hard drive. I'm really trying to get this 80 gig one because it's it's like five bucks I'll know in about 15 hours whether or not I'm getting that bad boy for uh it's like five dollars and then ten dollars shipping which is very cheap but for what I need it for it's more than enough memory so since I have another uh, soft modded Xbox I will probably try to look for a 320 gig IDE hard drive um, you know cross my fingers see how that goes but I'm still in the market for more Xboxes. I'd like to have at least four of them that are modded with uh, all the games that I plan on using at LAN events. Copy to the hard drive because that'll make it a little more convenient, a little more cost effective. And uh, keep from putting a lot of wear and tear on those DVD drives, which are garbage. Um, let's... Oh, and something else I noticed that I want to show off just because of the recent Saturn video. Um, I don't know why I turned that off. Fucking dipshit. Uh, I always hit the wrong button on the front of the Xbox. I think the big one should be the power one and the little one should be the eject, but that's me. This is Silence of the Lambs. It's a video CD. This is... <laughs> Sadly, one half of my uh, half of my video CD collection is you know one movie, so I've only got the two right now. I've got Clueless and Silence of the Lambs. But with Xbox Media Center, you can play video CD, which is pretty fucking cool. I don't know if that's gonna start up automatically. I think it will. Yeah, there we go. So this thing's also a video CD player. I don't know if the Xbox... Uh, I mean, I can check in a minute, but I don't know if the Xbox standard will play video CD. You know, I've got the little DVD add-on with the controller and shit. So I don't know if I can play video CD like that. I know the PlayStation 2 will not let you play video CDs. So that'd be cool. That is just something... I was poking around the menus of uh, Xbox Media Center and saw that it has video CD support and Super Video CD. So this is a very powerful uh, device. You know, this is very cool. I know I'm a couple years behind on the curve. A lot of people have already fucked with this and moved on to other uh, crap. You know, a lot of the features that are available with this modded Xbox are, you know current standard features for the 360 and the PlayStation 3 but still I like dicking around with stuff um, I said it's that when it's playing videos or music it turns the LEDs off you can also make it strobe through the three different colors green orange and red which uh, I'm not making my Xbox display anything red that's just a bad omen but oh jeez. Yeah, it skips very, very far and fast. The volume on my TV is all the way down. That's why you can't hear the fucking movie. But, yeah. I think that is way, way cool. Let's see. But yeah, I'll be uh, very excited and happy and crap when I uh, finally upgrade the hard drive in one of these bad boys. I'd, I'd still like to have two more Xboxes. I'd like to have four in total for uh, lugging around and setting up uh, LAN crap. But, <clears throat> let's see. 
my copy of uh, Lord of the, or Lord of the Rings, my copy of Sansa Lambs. Even comes with a little cardboard case, so it's nice and complete. Cost me pretty much nothing. Sweet. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing all day. I've been screwing around with all my Xboxes. Uh, nickname on this thing is Hal. All of my computers on my uh, networks are named after famous computers from science fiction. If you can tell me where a little nag and Teletran 1 come from, uh, I'm sure everybody knows what Hal I'm sure everybody sure I'm bleh. I'm sure everybody knows which famous computer Hal is named after, but if you can tell me where uh, Teletran One and Little Nag come from, because those are the other two computers on my network, uh, let me know in the fucking comments. I'll be very impressed. But I'm gonna continue dicking around with this all night. Anyway, yeah, I've been going on for like 11 minutes. Um, thanks for watching. As always, more videos and crap on the way. Uh, take it easy, Jack. Take it easy, guys.